today I want to go have a little a help me video so what I want to help you on is what we put it in our cars as I was doing this water pump into this car and I took out the old water pump and I noticed what the issue was what the issue was he was putting water into the reservoir so instead of putting coolant he was putting water in it look I understand I got a couple of oil years I got a couple of zoom ins out there they're gonna get the job done right at a corner road to put a little water in there. you good baby don't worry about it but now from my experience what water you should when you put water in your car just put it as a quick fix when I say quick fix hey I was riding on the highway, car overheated, I put some water because that was the only thing on my back seat I had. Yes, get it to the house, call the mechanic up, make some plans. This is what we're going to do. Bam, we're safe. But now, what ended up happening, I'm going to explain it to you. True enough, the water cools it down. But now what happens, if you see this here, that's all rusted. So now the water pump is supposed to spin. Spin exactly like this, but the water gets into the water pump and it messes up the bearings. It messes up all the metal that's actually inside the water pump. So now what happens is it gets rusted. And look, when was the last time you had a piece of metal that was working at its full potential when it's rusty? It's not gonna happen. So look, now this is for the people who say I care about my car, I want to keep it around. Listen, if you're that type of person, look, put some cool in that thing, man. Because in reality, I'm gonna tell you, coolant actually lubricates everything inside your motor. Because your motor is not the only water pump has metal in it. Man, you got so much more parts inside the motor that's actually made of metal. Water and metal does not mix. It's bad. It's a it's a recipe for disaster so look quick fix water but go ahead later on put some cool in that thing god bless amen